it's Mr. Danny, and I work at Bluegrass Green Stores. I'm very thankful to Live Green Lexington for bringing you this exciting, fun lesson that you're about to see. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to talk about um, learning to cook. As students get older, you want to start learning those basic life skills. Cooking is one of those things that's really important to learn before you move out of your house because you are going to be solely responsible for providing yourself food. So um, it's very important to learn those skills, but it's also very important to learn how to dispose of certain items. And today we're going to be making bacon, which is going to demonstrate cooking a fatty meat that creates a lot of cooking grease. Um, we have some information here, which we will reference um, the city's website about fog clogs. When I make bacon, a fatty meat, it will create grease. And we're gonna demonstrate that on our griddle because we have a handy dandy grease interceptor here to catch our uh, cooking oil and grease. Um, so we'll demonstrate how much a pound of bacon will make going to talk about proper techniques on how to dispose of that grease and other things to keep those clogs away when we're cooking in our kitchens um, and keeping those clogs from reaching our main sanitary sewer line which then can create major issues out on our roadways as well so before we start I'm gonna put on cooking gloves to keep everyone safe One of my favorite tools when cooking, um, I love to have a nice pair of kitchen scissors or shears because there's so much packaging that we have. So much of the things we dispose of comes from the packaging from our food. None of this packaging is recyclable, so I'm going to go ahead and dispose of that in the garbage can. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook this whole pound of bacon. One of the nice things about the griddle is it's very flat and I typically can fit a whole pound. Um, I'm gonna put it on about medium. So I'm gonna spread the bacon out and put it on about a medium. Fatty meats don't need to be um, seared like some of our other meats. Um, we want to cook that at a lower medium temperature. You can make bacon in the oven, um, which is a great way to do it um, when you're trying to cook other breakfast items. So I'm going to go about 325. It's a little bit medium to medium high and we'll start to hear that cook and simmer. Fats, oils, and grease or fog is anything that leaves that oily residue, like dairy products, sauces and dressings, cooking oil, butter, fry oil, margarine, shortening, meat fats, and lard. The reason we want to be careful with how we dispose of this product is if it goes down the drain in your kitchen sink, then it can clog your own pipes or the sanitary sewer pipes and cause backups in your house or out on the street. We want to keep our homes and our streets safe, so make sure you handle fat, soils, and grease correctly. Always drain oil into a, a can or another type of item that you can throw away. You can put it in the fridge, let it solidify, and then throw it away. Make sure to use a paper towel if there's any oil residue left on your pots and pans. Scrape your plates, use a paper towel on your plates if there's still that oily residue. Um, make sure to scrape any bits, and to, but to leave that strainer in your sink as well because those bits of food that go, may go down your drain combined with fat, soils, and grease can really cause a problem. So as you can see, the pounded bacon created quite a bit of oil on my griddle um, so I definitely don't want to just go straight and put this in the sink. Um, I want to let it cool down. I want to let it solidify but I also want you all to see just how much grease 
this pound of bacon actually produced. So I'm gonna carefully pull this out and show you how full my grease interceptor is. So I'm gonna take this oil and grease and pour into my can. And I'm gonna let it cool down in my fridge. A lot of people may want to use this for flavoring, but I definitely don't want all of that grease to go back into my sink. Put on my fog lid and wipe out my, my pan. And that's how I want to deal with any fat and grease that I produce in my kitchen. Thank you for participating and watching our cooking demonstration today.